Hey everybody, it's your President Woke, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., ready to drop some sick frags as the first human specter. And the reward for the worst intro of the videos goes to you, Joe. We've got a bit of a day today. Joe will be taking on the mission find Liara Tassoni on Therum. Barack, don't you think this is gonna be a bit of a tough mission for him? Kinda of weird for us to take the two easiest missions in the game and give Joe the first filter, if you know what I mean. You'll be fine, won't you, Joe? Hell yeah, I'll be fine. I'm on my meds today and I'm ready to lay some fools out to dry. The only way this guy can play games is on 20 doses of Adderall. Also, Joe, I need you to pretty please do something for me real quick. When you get to the top of the elevator, just go up and scan that last keeper at the top. Wait, that's what you were doing earlier, scanning the keepers? Is that why you were repeating, where is it, over and over? I couldn't find the 19th keeper, and then I realized I forgot the one that's to the right of where we meet the counselors in the Citadel Tower. I've literally never heard this sound effect in the game. See that? A easy level up, and we haven't even left the Citadel yet. Good credits, too. Uh, what's Ashley doing back there? Looks like she's back there hitting the meanest lunge. Ashley, I respect your dedication to the gains, but we got work to do. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. That's gonna be our wife. Hey, hold on now, Joe. That wasn't the deal. You said we could romance Ashley. Huh, what? So sorry, I don't remember that. I suppose my dementia has gotten the best of me. You're so full of Barack, back me up here. Oh, nah, I got no horse in this race. You two can settle that yourselves. Joe, I am warning you, don't interfere with me and Ashley. What are you gonna do, stop me? Maybe Ashley will have an unfortunate accident at some point later in the game. You don't have the balls to leave I'll Ashley on Vermeer. You, you willing to bet all your money on that, Donald? I will body slam you, Joe. Well, right now it doesn't matter because we don't know who's playing Vermeer, but if it's me, I'll do whatever makes the most sense from a gameplay perspective. Well, from a story and character perspective, we all know Ashley should get left behind. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. I can't believe Anderson's career was ended by the backrooms. I've seen that game a lot. Do you guys think I should play it? Joe, you would piss sh and vomit everywhere if you played the backrooms. somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. Hundred percent. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say? All right, Joe, you have the honor of delivering the very first patented Commander Shepard speech. Let's just get this over with. Crew, this is Commander Shepard. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. Extremely weak start. Shut the f up, Donald. You're picking the Paragon options. All right, if this is going to be how it is, I might need to abuse that glitch on Novaria. Not Novaria. just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Joe, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'd think eight years with me would have improved your speech skills, but I was dead wrong. What do you mean that speech was fire? Yeah, the long pause at the end of it really shows how quickly your brain can string together sentences. Whatever, man. Anyway, we should probably go do our rounds by the crew, right? I would rip the controller out of your hands if you didn't talk to the squad. Let's start with Caden. Okay, but why though? I'm actually pretty sure Caden doesn't have anything of note to say here. Well, there's no harm in checking. Especially since he's sitting up here alone. You know, staring blankly into a bright orange screen in a dark room probably isn't doing Caden's migraines any favors. Commander, what's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least you know, I just thought of something. We were on on Eden Prime, we watched Sovereign take off right after Saren kills Nihilus. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew But Saren is still on the planet. Uh, Why did Sovereign leave? What is this, Cinema Sins, Barack? Stop psychoanalyzing the game. Well, you were right. We'll Caden had nothing time. to say. Unsurprisingly, and to think people say he isn't boring. It is kind of sad that everyone else is down here hanging out in the hangar bay. Nice. But Caden is alone on the upper deck. Time to talk to the only character in this game with an interesting background. I'm surprised to hear you diss Ashley by extension there, Donald. Listen, I like Ashley, but I'm not gonna pretend her stories aren't boring. Some BS about her grandfather and something about her sister and some boy snooze fest. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. 
That was fun. Yikes, and this is why I don't ask people how their day is going. You never know what they're gonna say. Hey man, dog died, fish died, cat died, mom died, train derailed, plane crashed, building eviction. Okay, dude. That was a good reference, Donald, but I understood every word that left your mouth, so it wasn't quite like XQC. The go to response to when someone asks how you're doing is to just say good and move on. It's destroying your entire species. I do wish I could tell Rex I know the genophage and the first contact war aren't the same. The first contact war was barely even a war. Maybe from the point of view of humans, I guess, but for the alien races, it was just a little incident. Oh, shit. Oh, no, our bad. We opened fire and rained meteors down on your cities because you broke a law you weren't even aware of. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Kind of wish you'd got there sooner, Commander. No offense, I appreciate the rescue. Joe, you I better be nice to Ashley. Oh, so now we should be Paragon, right? Got it. We wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit. Yes, sir. If I had been more alert... In Ashley's defense, there was a Reaper on the scene. She's lucky she got out at all. seems plain enough to me. Be more alert. Aye, aye, Commander. What's Garrus got going on over here? I'm sure he's just That's calibrating the gun on the Mako or something. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you bear I cannot believe people Damn gravitated towards this guy. It's just the typical cop who's restricted by all the red tape trope you see all the time in old movies. To be fair, yeah, most of the reason people like Garrus fair. have to do with him in Mass exactly Effect 2 and 3, I don't think he was anyone's favorite in Mass suspect, Effect 1. It shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. Yep, let me just shoot this guy in both his knees because he stole about $250 out of a McDonald's cash register. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. So just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? Quitting a job because you don't like the way things are being done is pretty valid. I don't know why Shepard sounds judgmental here. Red tape. c handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. It's not the end of the world. You'll have tougher decisions soon enough. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. As the way it Thank should you. be, just get your task done. That's all I care about. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive car like this before. Tally really drew the short end of the stick when it comes to the dialogue in the first Mass Effect. It's a whole lot of lore on the Geth and Quarians, but hardly anything about the girl herself. We know she likes ships, but that's a byproduct of the modern Quarian migrant lifestyle. Migrants where? What migrants? Uh, Donald, did you never realize the Quarians refer to themselves as the migrant fleet? You're telling me there's about 17 million migrants at our border right now? Donald, migrant just refers to a group of people who are immigrating between... We must build a wall, a space wall to prevent the migrant fleet from invading our space. On a vessel like this, it's a dream come true for me. All right, Joe, it's finally time for you to begin our first big mission. Excited? I'm ready to finally get Liara on the ship. Or, and hear me out, we leave her on Therum until after Vermeer and we get to see her go crazy from isolation. I'm not that stupid, Donald. You just want to lock me out of romancing her. You're already locked out of romancing her. You said you wouldn't. Well, we're politicians, Donald. You know the name of the game, we lie all the time. So let me drop a little fun fact about Therum. It was originally a planet called Calliston. It had a whole hub level. Shepard would get involved in a gang war taking place on a station there. And only after that do we get to go rescue Liara from the volcano we normally find her in. You're telling me that find Liara to Sony could have been an A-tier mission on the tier list if that cut content made it in? Reading through the plot line, the mission might have even made S-tier on paper. It sounds like a strong start to the main section of the game. All right, Barack, I want your help on this one. Which squad mates should I pick up? This mission is pretty much all Geth, so Tally is someone I would suggest. And since we already have biotics ourselves, I would pick someone who brings some damage, maybe Ashley. Why don't you just give Barack the mouse and keyboard, Joe? Evidently, you want him to play for you. I just wanted a tip, damn it. I can handle this. Let him cook, Donald. Joe should be able to handle this since it's so simple. To think we could have had a whole side story on this planet instead of dropping straight out in the Mako. Yeah, looking back, we may have been too hard on Pharaoh's Theorem definitely isn't a better mission overall. Also, Joe, I'm gonna need you to spend your skill points. You didn't do it after we scanned the Keeper. All oh, right, Ashley doing lunges distracted me. Well, now that we've got some time here, I take it you boys watch the Game Awards. I watch Baldur's Gate 3 demolish the competition. I'm very satisfied with Mario Wonder and Pikmin 4 getting their flowers. 
Huge Nintendo W, even if Zelda lost game of the year. I can't believe Tears lost to the bear fucking simulator. Barack, you know full well there's more to Baldur's Gate than that, even if it is the thing that matters most. I know, I'm just being salty. Larian Studios did amazing work with the game, and I'm happy to see such passion get recognized. Still not as salty as all the Sony heads are about Spider-Man 2. Going 0-7 is absolutely crazy. You're not joking, Joe. The timeline the couple days after the game awards was the most coping and seething shit I've seen in all my days. You'd think they gave game of the year to Gollum or Redfall the way things were coming down. It's the fact that literally everyone else was quiet about it too. Starfield, Hogwarts, and even the Zelda fans mostly just kept their heads down. And it's not like we're trying to diss Spider-Man 2 or anything. It is a pretty good game. And Yuri Lowenthal is a goat voice actor, but Baldur's Gate was putting up Elden Ring numbers. You can't match that. People just have this thing about turn-based combat, and I get it. But if you like Mass Effect enough to watch us play it, you'll probably like Baldur's Gate 3 as well. Has a lot of the same stuff. Great characters with romances, world building, and unlike in Mass Effect, your choices actually matter. But let's talk about what we all really watch the Game Awards for, the trailers. See that new free God of War DLC? I did see that. I also saw Black Myth. Wukong is finally on its way next August. The character design looks immaculate. And don't forget Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero. Gonna need to pick up three backup controllers, about to bust so many control sticks and beam clashes. All right, Joe, you know, you got those cannons coming up next, right? I got this, Barry. I appreciate it, but I don't need the help. All right, big dog. Good luck. Joe is showing us why people over the age of 80 shouldn't be allowed to drive. It's a good thing Secret Service takes you everywhere. Man, I can drive. It's just the Mako handles like a drunk rhino. Hey, uh, Joe, you're going toward the wrong... Barack, I said I got it. Leave me be. Okay, all right, fine. Don't say I didn't try. Like you said, Barack, let him cook, even if it means he's gonna burn the house down. No fires in my house, just straight gas. Uh-huh, look at you. Not even close, baby. Why are you even using the pistol? We have a perfectly good shotgun. I selected Sentinel for a reason. If I wanted to use a shotgun, I would have picked Vanguard or Soldier. You should have at least equipped something other than radioactive ammo. We're fighting Geth. I'm sorry, who's playing right now? Is it you, Barack? Because I could have sworn it was me. You know what, you got it. I'll keep my mouth shut. What the hell are they shooting at? What the- Barack did try to tell you that was the wrong side. Well, you might as well destroy them now, Joe. Fuck that, I'm out of here. Perfectly good experience points, gone to waste. I would start running, Joe. Oh, God. All right, Barack, I'm sorry you can help me. Are you sure? I'd hate to have to backseat you. No, it's fine. I'm in over my head. I don't remember anything about this game. All right, dog, I got you. Why don't you two get a room or something? You're just mad you and Pence aren't boys like us. One other thing I just read about, apparently E3 is well and truly dead now. Has been for years, Barack. Anyone who's been paying attention knew E3 was a walking corpse of a convention. It's just a sad farewell. So many hype moments in gaming happen there. Like the reveal of Twilight Princess back in 04 or Mega Man being revealed for Smash Wii U. For every hype moment, there's embarrassing ones too, and I think it's nice to get gaming news every couple of months from Nintendo Directs and PlayStation State of Play. Coming up on the last stretch of the Mako section here. About time, I was getting tired of this. Theorem is a pretty bad Uh, excuse me? What the f Huh, well that's a new one. Joe, what in the hell did you do? I didn't do anything, I was just driving. Go back and look at the footage. The Mako just randomly clipped through the ground. Barack, you wouldn't happen to know anything about this, would you? Gotta be honest, I have well over 1,000 hours in this game series between the original trilogy and the legendary edition. And I've never had the Mako do this. Absolutely insane that this would happen while we're filming. Well, at least it makes for good content. So, Joe, how does it feel to get the first death of the series? Bro, this is not the first death, not to a fucking glitch. I don't know, man. That sure looks like a critical mission failure to me. Imagine losing to some bad geometry. I'll just record this and put an asterisk next to it. We'll decide if it counts later. Okay, now let's just run this back nice and slow, and hopefully the ground doesn't decide to eat us again. I'm going to have to go back and see if I can replicate that on my own. I'm genuinely curious as to what occurred there. The case against Mass Effect 1 continues, Barack. I don't see glitches oh, like God that in Mass Effect 3. Well, I don't know, Donald. Maybe something silly will happen now that it'll be on camera. Hey, Joe, get back inside the Mako. What do you mean? Why? You wanted my help, so just trust me. All right, I guess. Now drive it into the gap in the wall there. Oh, I know what you're doing, Barack. A classic. Come back. You got to hit it dead center. Wait, no fucking shit. 
Bruh, that's crazy. See, that's the duality of video game bugs. Sometimes the terrain swallows you up and forces a game over. And other times it lets you sneak the Mako where it doesn't belong. Has this always been like this? I know for a fact it existed in the original Mass Effect one. And considering that this is a relatively popular bug, I'm sure BioWare knows about it too. I guess they just decided not to fix it for the remaster. A rare BioWare W for that one. Nintendo could learn a thing or two from them. Seriously, do they have to patch out the duplicate bugs in Tears of the Kingdom? Farming dragon parts is a pain in the ass. How do people even find things like this out? No clue, but I'm thankful for it because the upcoming fight against the Geth is pretty difficult while you're on foot. Especially for the level we're at now. Does the game think the Mako is the squad? It's something like that. To be honest, I don't remember what this cutscene looks like normally. I've always brought the Mako through here since realizing I could. I think the squad is supposed to be reacting to the arrival of the Geth units in the armature. Well, these Geth are in for a surprise now that I'm pulling up with a giant tank. It's only fair. They're dropping heavy units down on us, so let's meet them with equal firepower. I don't know. It feels kind of cheap to win like this. I'm surprised, Donald. Aren't you always going on about how a win is a win like all FromSoft fans do? A win is a win, but that doesn't mean I gotta like it. This is like using magic in Elden Ring. Sure you won, but at the cost of your pride. My pride ain't worth a damn. I sold that when I became president. Joe, that Geth armature is not a bunch of kids going through a crosswalk in a school zone. Oh, so when we touch the lava, we start burning, but when I push the armature into it, it's all good. See, the game cheats, so you might as well cheat back. Well, that was easy. Well, now it's time for you to ditch the Mako and fight head to head like a real man. Barry, you don't suppose we can squeeze the Mako down the tunnel, do you? Sorry, Joe, but you're gonna have to take it honestly from here on. All right, let me cook here. You're lucky Tally is taking care of sabotaging the Geth for you. Joe, I'm begging you, please swap to the shotgun. You don't even have a gun power. No need, the enemies die all the same. Okay, okay, Joe, ability usage, that's what I like to see. Say whatever you want about the ammo type I'm using. Watching them melt into a green mist is satisfying. Now, I may not want to romance Liara, but I won't lie, I'm very happy to see her. As Donald alluded to earlier, the longer you put this mission off, the more deluded Liara will become. Exactly how much time passes in this game anyway. Are you okay? Well, not to get too much into the math here. But when the Normandy isn't using mass relays, it's still traveling between star systems faster than the speed of light. So we're talking days between every mission, at minimum. I was when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. Barak, you said the Asari don't have eyebrows. So what are those above Liara's eyes? They're extremely convenient-looking forehead markings that resemble eyebrows. Is the eyeshadow Liara clearly has on her face also convenient face Sarah. markings? Listen, don't cross-examine me on this. Bioware went out of their way to make Liara look effeminate, even though the Asari are monogendered. Take it easy here, Joe. This fight can press you if you aren't careful. It's over for them. I have the high ground. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to get them all from up there. You're right. This calls for a little bold action. I'm the bold action man. Uh, that's a sniper laser, Joe. Nope. F that. Not feeling so bold now, are you? Okay, Joe, I like what I'm seeing here. Ability usage, steady aim, and good game sense. Even you gotta admit this isn't too bad a look, Donald. All this proves to me is that Mass Effect 1 is piss easy. And just as I expected, he starts throwing. It's okay, he actually remembered to pop his Medigel for one. Okay, never mind, Joe, get in cover. Joe Star family secret technique. You're lucky the Geth are terrible shots because one or two more blasts and you would have gotten a legitimate, no one doubts it, game over. I take back what I said about game sense, Joe, you gotta start using cover. It's okay, I'll win this fight no matter what. How much goddamn health does this thing have? You ran from the fight and it replenished its shields, what did you expect? Thank God it's over. The final fight for this mission is not going to go well, I can tell. 
Oh God, what was the pattern for this? Down, left, right, up, left. Bro got that memorized like it's the Konami code. Fun fact, on the original Trilogy PC version, the sequence was randomly generated each time a saved game was loaded. That sounds annoying as hell. The solution back then was to just mash the four directions until you got lucky. Uh-oh, Shepard forgot which way to look while walking again. Well, you somehow fixed it, Joe. Good work. How are you rolling into every known bug in this game? I guess I'm just lucky or unlucky, I suppose. You know, I'm wondering if these Prothean ruins were actually some kind of prison. Not a bad theory at all, Donald. I can't think of why else these containment fields would be here if it were just a mining planet. I guess that would also explain why Liara's biotics apparently don't work. Otherwise, she could surely break herself out. should shut down this containment field. Why is every interface in the Mass Effect universe holograms? Is this really the future we're headed to? It wouldn't be that bad if it weren't for the fact that you can see straight through it. How can you even yeah, see what you're hitting? Out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Prothean X. Okay, goddamn Ashley, watch the attitude. I don't know. What the hell was that? The sound of an average earthquake in California. Correct me if I'm wrong, but taking the elevator here isn't exactly the right idea. Well, Joe, it's either you risk the elevator collapsing, in which case we all die, or we do nothing and get to enjoy being trapped until several hundred tons of earth and magma rains down upon us. In which case, we still die. Good point. We better get the hell out of here. Are you ready for your final boss, Joe? I'm not afraid of this Krogan. You should be. He's the most aggressive bastard I've seen. Real talk, Joe. You're going to want to hold your metagel and barrier for do or die situations and disable those geth immediately. I have a strong feeling Tally isn't going to last very long here, so it'll be up to you and Ashley. In a worst case scenario, use Unity to bring the squad back up. Uh, he's not moving. Ain't no way. What? Why is he just standing there? He's a Krogan in Mass Effect 1. He's supposed to run up and beat the hell out of you. There is absolutely no goddamn way you're getting another bug or something. The Battlemaster isn't even shooting his gun. That's the Geth. He's finally moving now, but it's too late. This is Free Eats. I, I am legitimately flabbergasted. I have never seen the Krogan Battlemaster be this passive. I expected a comedic series of Joe getting washed by the Battlemaster over and over again until he begged one of us to do it for him. I feel robbed of something I desperately wanted to see. Why is he not committing to the charge? What the hell is he doing? It's like playing with a bronze Reinhardt in Overwatch. That was actually completely embarrassing for the Krogan Battlemaster. Why does it sound like you two wanted to see me get my cheeks clapped? Because, because we, we did. did. This is actually extremely disappointing. I was so hyped to find out you'd be playing third Joe, specifically to see you get bodied on this mission. Well, excuse me for being a bit better than you all expected. A bit better my ass, more like just really lucky. That Krogan should have been running a train on you. Close, Commander. Well, that all went well, a successful mission on Therum. So what did we learn? That Joe is apparently the luckiest bastard in the universe. That sometimes when you're driving around and minding your own business, a just sinkhole can appear reference. and just trap you underground. Yeah, gotta say, I definitely experienced some new things in the game today. Ashley getting stuck doing lunges on the Joker Citadel, the Mako there. falling through the ground, the and the Krogan job. Battlemaster apparently forgetting he's a Krogan. Be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. Oh, don't worry, Liara. I'll make sure you get all the experience you, you need with our there. species. Joe, for the last the time, we are not romancing Liara. You can't stop me from rizzing her up when I'm the one in control. Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years... 50 years? Liara's been studying the Asari since she was in her 50s? How old are you exactly? Whoa, Joe, you can't just ask a woman her age like that. Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. Barely considered more than a child? No wonder you want to romance her, Joe. Motherfucker, you've been the biggest simp for the Asari in all our conversations. Don't try to fling that at me. We've got mad receipts on you right now. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. 
The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. What does she it's mean, remarkably little? Did not want the we sneeze solved. and stumble upon Prothean like stuff all the time. Along. Apparently, the key to finding more Prothean information is to travel with the main character of the but series. Here's the incredible part. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Joe, Setting you better be getting now, ready Commander. to do what I think you're going to do. Of course, there's report, only one reason to actually to talk to the Council. On the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liera's on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Thank you, Sparitus. I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. Ah, uh, it never gets old. One last thing before we end here. I'm gonna start the dialogue with Liara. Commander, you son of a bitch, don't you dare. You Do something you? about it. You I'll just speak better. to Ashley and lock How her in feel? right then and there. You won't be playing in the next two videos, Joe, and I know Barack has my back. I already told you I want no part in this. You're in good hands. In fact, maybe I'll just stir the pot a little myself. What do you mean by that? I'm just going to put in here that if the two of you pursue your romance options at the same time, we're in for a bit of an awkward confrontation. Come on, Barry, be cool. Either you two work this out, or I'm sabotaging you both. You can't be serious. It's already been worked out. Joe agreed to let me romance Ashley if I let him pick Sentinel. You both have until I'm in control of Shepard again, but for now I think that's all we have for today. Donald, we gotta come to some kind of agreement or neither of us is romancing anyone. We already had an agreement. I'm not gonna let you gaslight me into thinking otherwise. Hey Barry, can I do the outro this time? Sure, you did well today, bugs aside. Y'all stay safe out there, uh, drink plenty of water and uh, what is it, something about sleep? A terrible intro to go with a scuffed outro. Why am I not surprised? We'll see you on the next one.